Hey, welcome back again to Auto Transport Intel. This is Dispatching Live. It is Thursday, May 7th. It is noon central time. And we know, you know, there's a lot of news and whatnot going on. But today's show is about dispatching. So if you are a car hauling dispatcher or you're a driver and you're looking at load boards and you're looking at rates and you're looking for advice, maybe you're looking for a dispatcher, you have questions about what brokers are doing and you know you have a lot of questions right rates brokers dispatchers then dispatching live is for you so here's what we're going to do we're going to jump right in we've got sue at murphy auto transport with us on the phone sue can you hear us okay i can hear you how's everybody today hey all right good thank you for joining us uh i love co-hosting this show with you you make this show me too uh, yeah, it's really you because you you know you're an acting uh, acting. You're a working dispatcher, right? You own right. a dispatch company and you're a working dispatcher yep. and you have a broker's license, right? Yes. Anybody so who I'm missed, legal. <laughs> so you're legal. Anybody who missed <laughs> broker versus dispatcher, you want to check that out because uh yeah. man, it is heating up out there in the dispatching broker land. By the way, I want to say hello. Thank you for joining us in the live chat today. If you're if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, by the way, don't forget to start a Facebook watch party. Do that. Why not? See what happens. Um, and I just want to say hello in the live chat. We got Michael Culler in the live chat. Hello, Michael. Thanks for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Um, April Ansley. Hey, happy Thursday, Jay and Michael. What's up, April? Thanks for joining us today. And um, let us know, by the way, if you're in the live chat, if you have a question, idea, concept, something to share. And I've encouraged a couple drivers. Check this out, Sue. I had a driver, a, a, he owns a car hauling business. He emailed me yesterday and I told him to go ahead and join the show today. Hopefully he's able to do that um, because he might be a next client. So if you're looking for a dispatch service, Sue at Murphy Auto Transport is on the phone and she's the one we're going to be talking to today and do you have open spots still sue um i do um as i michael is on there and i've hired michael all right <laughs> to be a dispatcher okay. so yes i do have open spots and michael used to be a transporter himself so he knows all about this awesome Okay, awesome. Uh, Ty, by the way, Ty is also with us. Is this where you find dispatchers? Yes, Ty. Thank you for asking. Appreciate it, buddy. And uh, Danny B. Hello, everyone. Danny says hello to everyone. And uh, let's see here. That guy has no credibility. Oh, we got some friendly jabs in the live chat. Okay. So without further ado, we're only a few minutes into this live show. And I know that, you know, we got, we're all busy with our quarantining and whatnot. I'm just kidding. I know. Listen, man, you know what? Sue and I were just talking about this before I went live. And hey, what's up, Exotic Hotshot? Thanks for tuning in. Um, I actually, the some of the news that I just read, I'm going to say something. I don't know if anybody knows this. This is kind of crazy. I just read on automotivenews.com that Cox Automotive has furloughed over 12,000 employees. Wow. I know, that's what I thought. And, I mean, they're such a huge company. And they have so many things going on. That doesn't mean they let go of central dispatch, you know. But but the point is, is this is a deep, right? This is a really deep impacting event. Um, also, the quarter one net losses for Carvana were like double what they expected. Anyways, this stuff is so impacting to our industry that when you told me, did you just tell me that uh, load volume is up on Central? Oh, yeah, it is. In fact, I was going to, well, when we get on there, I'll show you what's on there. We'll go wow. from there. Well, that is great news. So let's get to it. William Vaughn says, hello, found the live chat. Thank you, William Vaughn, for tuning in. All right, Sue, if you want to share your screen, by the way, let me know if you can see us and hear, you can see me. Uh, Sue is on the phone to save bandwidth and um, just make sure you can hear us okay and that there's no trouble with the stream or anything like that. So so Sue's coming in. And by the way, I shared some stuff on Tuesday night and um, if we want to take a look at a look-see at any of those rates, let me know. 
And again, if you have a question, please live chat it. If you have a route that you want Sue to look at, please live chat that. Whatever help we can do, the whole point of this show, this show is only twice a month. We do it every other week on Thursday at noon central time. And if there's anything we can do to help you, uh, that's what we're here for. Technology, load boards, dispatch advice, brokering, you name it. That's what we're here for. So Sue is pulling up the central dispatch page. Every dispatcher knows that when they, you know, when they when they rush to the desk, whether that's straight from the bed or they have to get through traffic, you get to I know this very well. I know it intimately. I did it for years. You sit down at the desk, you get your hot coffee. And actually, dispatchers don't get hot coffee. That should that's what it should say on the mug. I'm a dispatcher, my coffee's always cold. So um <laughs> Right, am I right about this? Or you say your beer is always hot. One <laughs> right, <of the> <laughs> my, my coffee's always cold and my beer is always hot. I'm a dispatcher. That'd be a good t-shirt. You, I know exactly. you like to write down that t-shirt stuff. T-shirt. All right, I'm gonna, I'm, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, gonna to email you a note, okay? Okay. Because I know you're busy. So uh, let's see, t-shirt idea. And listen, if you've got a t-shirt idea out there, let us know. Dispatchers, coffee is always cold and the beer is always hot. All right. <laughs> so there we go. And okay. I love, you know, and I'm always so, saying, yeah. Okay. Let's get back on track. Okay, Jay. That's enough <laughs> ham. That's so, enough ham for one morning. So it looks like, okay, Ooh. so yesterday it was at 16.5. Now it's at 17.5. So we just keep going up by 1,000 every day, which is awesome. Um, and this is a good 17.5 is like, that's our, what I consider like the happy point. If, you, if you're up to 21,000, that's great too. But usually when we're up that high, it's because we got a lot of snowbird action going on. And granted, I do have some snowbird action going on. So let's go narrow this down and see if this what this really is and by the way don't you think that number was higher a couple years ago like in the i mean when i did my central dispatch tutorial video Mm -hmm. in like 2018 Uh it was like forty thousand. i see no i have never seen it over 20 it was at least maybe 22 i don't know man i don't know if i searched the globe or what happened yeah, but it just seemed like it seemed well, like the you, number was a lot higher. Well, if you put in now, it's possible that you had it because you like to put in a hundred days or something like that. Oh, it's possible okay. if it was that, and I'm well, just doing three days. So well, yeah, well, if, an exotic. Let's try, you're right. Let's try I did further let's out. Let's an exotic says she has parameters set up, brokers that are blocked, etc. Plus, I will say this: right, is that, there are. Yeah. But, but here's a theory. I want to share this: is that. But a lot of brokers have now gone to other load boards, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I mean, you, and, and you can and um, also uh, do both. I mean, I use Central just because I'm not going to pay both places. Um, but, and I, and I know telling, some of them are free. I, well, and I was Dispatch this, Center is free right now. Really, Dispatch you know. Center, there's a lot, several are free. And thanks, yeah. Barracuda. Thanks, Big Will. That's awesome. Thank you guys so much. I want to say this is that I just did the siren for uh, Big Will and Barracuda and Exotic Hotshot. One big siren. What I want to say is that um, I know that, that. Uh, in talking to, because I talk to mobile app providers and load board guys, and I and I tell them all, listen, make the technology easier for the carrier to just see it instead of having to log into your load board. Right. Right. Okay, so I put in 60 days. You see what the, that number is. Okay, that's what it is then. I put in more days. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I mean, that's still, I'm I'm really shocked right now. <laughs> that's great, man. That is exciting. Okay, so All number right. one, we found out there are more loads available right now than there were, what, a yes. week ago, a month ago? A month ago, I think about a month ago, we were down to only seven thousand loads on the board. It was I, honestly, it was scary. Uh, yeah. Um, and then since probably the last two weeks, almost every day, it's been going up a thousand, and it just had been has been slowly creeping up. And I've got 
got more drivers on the road now too. Some of them are still staying home. Um, and then some are start want to go back out next week or that following week. So, if, and I'm sure a lot of this is going to depend on, you know, we're starting to open up. Are we really going to stay open up? You know, because if, if people start getting sick again, who knows <laughs> kind of thing. So, um, I'm going to put in here, I'm looking for a particular guy, unless somebody has any ideas that they want me to look for, I'm going to put in right. Dawn. Okay, right. So she's got her own search going on. We, we, we do this a lot. We look for John. But if you've got a route, we'd love to check it out. Oh, there's your t-shirt. If you've got a route, we'd love to check it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Murphy Auto Transport. There we go. Dude. I'm sending you, I'm going to email you that oh. one too. Murphy Auto If you've got a route, anybody new to the show is like, okay, this guy is a total ham. <laughs> oh, shoot. I need to go back and put a, uh, I ain't going to deal with 290 loads here. Let's, I'm going to put a minimum on here and see what we got instead. Okay. And as we always discuss, there's options hey, when you're Danny searching. Hey, David three. Oh, and by the way, and, do me a favor, Sue. Hey, will you hit control plus once? And make that screen a little bit bigger. Is that enough or more? Yeah, no, that's great. That's great. Thank you. Okay. Anybody watching on their mobile All device right. can just see a little bit better. Okay, so we're looking at, we're going to start our starting point. You're doing Youngstown, Ohio. How many miles around the city do you do? I do 100 mile because um, it's easier. There is 290 loads on there with no parameters. We're going to narrow this down a little bit, and I'm going to put – uh, usually I have to have a certain amount of money for John, but we're going to leave it at $0.60 cents a mile and see what that does to us. Um, cool. Okay, cool. $0.60 cent minimum. And you're in Ohio. You're going – where are you going? South, yeah. southeast? I mean, you could do that. Usually, yeah, I can go wherever I, except for Louisiana. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> He Let's likes see. Louisiana too. Now, are you saying? <laughs> oh, he why loves you, it. Why do you say it's Louisiana? Because a hot spot. Because of COVID. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Because of COVID, he loves Louisiana. Yeah. Anytime I can send him down there, he's got buddies all over the place. He spends the weekend there. He has a blast. And in fact, he asked me the other day, "Can I go down to Louisiana?" I said, "Well, yeah, I can take you down there. I don't probably not going to get you back out, but and right. if it yeah. was easy, you know what I mean, I would do it. But it's not that easy." Well, this would take him down to Louisiana because that's Gulfport. <laughs> Boy, this is going to be, that sucks, man, going into a hot spot or rather trying to avoid a hot spot, which is part of your normal Well, route. it's like Michigan. Wow. Yeah, and Dude, Michigan's Michi a hot spot too. No, right? Yeah. Yeah. This is and, hard. And Actually, I, this is really hard when you think of the hot spots. We're going to do, these people put, uh, here, let me show you an example of, crap i know this is 23 miles but please really i'm i'm just whoa, they whoa. RCT. somebody was just bagging on them right that's yeah. not yeah. good dude 35 dollar car that's not good and you know i know no, that no. i know like okay northfield to akron it's not that far but this is a car no. and it's a car hauler man and I and it's well, they're an all in ops too. Dude, that's not yeah. good, man. No. I mean, I know good. you can there's a multiple load there. But okay, but you're making well, and I think RC logistics charges a fee for quick bait too, by the way. So anyways, so you're probably not even gonna end up making a hundred dollars doing three vehicles if you're a free car. Exactly. And we all know that if you were a tow truck driver, you'd probably get paid two hundred dollars just to do that same car. So Dude. it'll that's take a all day. Yeah, and I this would is never where do it. I, that, that's where I mean you're paying uh, listen, I, I you're, you know, you know, with this channel, I talk to more and more people all the time. So the last thing I want to do right. is I don't want to bash a company. I don't want to bash a company owner, right. but I have said to a couple people, I, you know what? I don't think that rate was fair. Yeah. And I, I'm not sure about yeah. that rate. No, I'm not sure about that one. Either. I wouldn't do it. I mean, I don't get me wrong. It said it was a dollar 52 a mile, but when you figure the amount of hours you're putting in for that, say, $100, I, 
I don't know if that's worth a hundred dollars. Yeah, for three cars. That's right. Even so, if even if you were a seven car, I don't think that's worth your time. And you can't get seven for loading and unloading. Yeah, I mean, no, that no. that would take you most of the day, realistically, at least half a day. If you're winching them, yes. I mean, you're yeah, you're talking at least. Don't you figure three to four hours for a hundred bucks? That's wow. to me not worth it. Right? Yeah. Uber yeah. Uber drivers make more than that, I think. <laughs> yeah, they do. Right? Yeah, they do. This is yep. why I saw somebody making the comment about, you know what, if the, if it's going to be like this, be a car puller. Hey, hang on one second. For I'm going to make some. And you can't that. make more. I'm going to make some noise okay, here for a second. I'm what I'm doing is I'm pulling up the. Uh, I got some people Great, tuning in on Facebook, and I don't want to leave them out. Okay, cool. So we got, uh, let's see here. We've got Mark Carrillo uh, in the ATI Facebook uh, feed. Thanks, Mark, from lovely beachless Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> and Kevin White says, Central is filled with low-end loads. You can't survive on 30, 40 cents a mile. That's doing it at cost. It's true, Kevin. And thank you for the comment. I had a couple of people call me this last week to uh, some of my drivers saying that and it was funny because they hadn't even watched the show. But um, when we were talking about central put, making people who list cars have a minimum yeah, before they put it on there. Yeah. And I mean, honestly, I, I agree because then it might stop the rates from keep going down and down and down. You know what I mean? Now, don't get me wrong. The prices have been coming up this last week. I mean, that, this, these are good paying loads here. They're that 79, good. 80 cents a mile. But where's Fond yeah. du Lac, right? I mean, Fond I mean du Lac, is that like up at the coast? That's like, you know. No, I don't think, no, I don't not. think Fond du Lac is that far. Let's go look here. Because the other but one that, was going with Because that's one of the things. Anytime, here's a pro tip. Anytime you get excited about a load and you don't know the city, you better check the map. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't man. just grab it. Oh, you do not. I've done it. Or if you if you think you know where a city is and you're not positive, check the map. I've done that yeah. one too. Oh my gosh. See, one it's time... only sixty seven miles from Milwaukee, so you're really you could do those two together for sure. Well, yeah, um, let's see it come up on know. that. But can, okay, well, can you put two other with it? Fond du Lac. Honestly, I don't even know if I've ever, I've sent a driver there once. Maybe. I think I have two. And you're still going to have to load out of exactly. Milwaukee. Yeah. It depends on what car haul you're looking at. I mean, this is a 2500 and a Toyota Sienna. Um, if you're a three car, you'd have to have an itty bitty tiny car to fit with this to make this fit if you're 53 foot long. And by the um, way, that's if a you're great a four point. Car, you could take this. Because if, you, if, so, you're, um, if you're a three car and you book those two, man, getting that mm -hmm. third one to fit, oh, it's painful. Yeah, you're looking for a Miata or a Mini Cooper or something like that. <laughs> like, come on, Miata. Miata. Come on, Miata. <laughs> well, and, and, and so you're also going to go, when you come through Milwaukee, you're also going to go through Chicago. So we're going to put Youngstown going to Illinois. And just so everybody knows, if you're trying to select multiples, you have to hit your control key, just in okay. case nobody knows that. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, that's right. Tip to multi-select. Oh, it says it there. Control and click. Control plus control plus to select multiple. I mean, most people know that. But that's the thing, too, is we have people watch these videos, you know. So right. it's, it'll be 2023 and we have flying cars and somebody's watching this video because <laughs> they're just getting into dispatching. Thanks, right. David. So... That means a lot. I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, see, look, and Jamin has another one here sitting in Cranberry Township. But Chicago, you want to watch where you're dropping. Anything Ooh, to Chicago. the west of the 90 is where you want to be. You don't want to be, let's go look that up. What was this? And by the way, William Vaughn, I think he wanted us to look at Philadelphia to Brooklyn. Was it William? Okay. And I'll tell you what, who was it? I'm checking the uh, live chat. I think it was, I think it was William. Uh, I, I got to tell you, I don't know if I've ever checked yeah. that route. You know, cause, right? How often do you look at anything going into the boroughs? 
I do because I've got a guy out of the Bronx. Oh, there um, you go. That's what so, it takes. That's but he will only. Yeah. <laughs> he only goes to the Bronx. He will not go anywhere south. He'll do anything north, but nothing south. He hates Brooklyn. Sorry. <laughs> and hey. He says it's never pays hey, enough. Nobody. For you to do it. That's the thing. Unless a driver lives in the boroughs or on the island, nobody goes there. Nobody. It it's just, just, I mean, like he says, thing. it costs him 140 minimum to go across the George Washington Bridge just to get into New York. Exactly. So whatever you're taking has to pay at least usually a dollar a mile or more. Otherwise, it's not even worth doing. Oh, uh, t- right. Maybe two. Because, yeah, you got the to- yeah. you got the cost of the tolls. You got the time of the traffic. And he said Philadelphia. Is that what he said? Yeah, he's doing Philadelphia to the Bronx. And he was doing he's talking Philadelphia fifty mile radius. And thank you for that, William. I appreciate that. I mean, you know, it, it goes without say, without you guys tuning in and participating, the show gets a little dull. We'll still do it. I mean, I've made plenty of videos, you know, with silence and crickets, but thank you for tuning in. <laughs> really appreciate it. Well, and people giving us suggestions helps people see more how to do this i think too and absolutely right. that's a good point let's see here what well we the got? big question is who's moving it someone is right yeah that is the big wow. question okay. thank you shay so he's at a 25 mile, mile radius i'm looking a little bit further right. out here yeah. so so and this is also one of the reasons why i like to do the noon shows is that it kind of breaks up the day you know you've had a tough morning and you're facing a tough afternoon so why not have a little bit of levity by looking at load boards levity with load boards let's see we know jay well there's a huge hino box truck which nobody can take i'm sure right (laughs) <laughs> I know. Oh, it's what kind a of, price, what kind a of money is he want? Yeah. Uh, well, that's a good. Que- hey, William. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. So, William, do, is this a normal route for you? What kind of money do you? Or what, what size is your trailer? What kind of money are you used yeah. to looking for? Yeah. We'll take some more. So we have an idea. And anybody else? Listen. <laughs> oh. Anybody else that wants to wants us to check something out, that's what we're here for. And we're going to be live for like another 30 minutes. This is not a super long show. It's not Tuesday Night's Live. Uh, oh, William just likes the challenge. Wow. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, uh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather just get the Well, this looks like was. fun right here. Um Ooh, that's not, that. I mean, it's paying two dollars and twenty cents a mile, and it. This is what it looks like. It's yeah, what's a Delica? What, what is that? I'm a I'm a girl, so I think it's kind of cute looking. <laughs> is it a Is it a car? But oh, it's no, a Europe, look, Is it a European vehicle? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, it's a Mitsubishi, but yeah. But I bet you, I bet you that's not very big. Let's put it in the. No, line. that's small. That's a European vehicle. I love it. And it's it. only 184.45 inches, so, so it, you're what, it, that's like 16 foot, something like that. Is it? Is it's operable, right? S13, new in yeah. the van. Yeah. Wow. It was a that's, run and drive. So let's um, now. What's the? Let's go back to the load. It's paying 200 COD on pickup. I like money on pickup. Yep. Um, yep. How many miles is that? That's 91 miles. 91 now, are, miles. Are you paying the toll to deliver that? Yeah, you're. But nobody's well, gonna pay you anything out of that. Yeah. No, but I mean that's half the money, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I mean, how many cars does he handle? That's what we need to go from there. I'm just gonna say this though. I don't think you know keeping a hundred bucks is not enough. Oh well, no. But right. you got to be taking more than one into this area. You've got to have at least six hundred dollars on your truck, is what I would. Think. Oh, it's Japanese. Otherwise, what's the Japanese point of doing? Man. Well, that's the problem, isn't it? And this is why, I'll tell you what, another thing that I do, one of the, to me, part of the service of this channel, because, you know, everybody's got to give back in their own way. And you know what I do? I tell everybody, stop Googling cheap car shipping. Stop thinking this is an inexpensive business. Know that running a truck is easily in the six figures. So stop thinking that this is overnight delivery, Amazon, easy peasy, all that. I hate all that stuff. Eeks. So I am fighting for car haulers. 
Yeah, there's... Wow. I have three <laughs> auto dealerships customers. Oh, that's awesome, William, in Brooklyn. Well, there you go. Now, that's what we talk oh, about. There you go. Developing that's, your yeah. own. That's great. And so he's just looking to fill spots. Awesome. Yeah. Love it. Well, that $200 dollars wouldn't be bad then um yeah right. I don't know how many you're, spots you're looking for you're already doing it that is that's a good that's a good little van i like that and michael says that he would love to be caught in that oh cash me outside no he didn't say that <laughs> uh barracuda's talking western state salt lake city to anywhere Ooh, salt lake city is challenging oh man yeah i've got a guy up there or heading up to Bozeman, Montana, which we'll be trying to find Ooh. cars out of, and it's been a pain in the butt already. I, so I'd rather look at know. Salt Lake City than Bozeman, and you know it's a well, tough I've city got... when it's Salt Lake City to anywhere. Well, <laughs> right? see, I I I would suggest you put in Utah to anywhere. Then at that point, exactly, I agree with you um, because yeah, that's just, right. It's yeah, a tough go. run. That is without the run. pandemic. Okay, with with the <laughs> pandemic, it's even worse right now. Totally, totally. I mean, I've been looking for days, and I've got up Idaho, Utah, and Montana. Of course, my guy only wants to go back to Arizona, but I put in Arizona and Nevada because I can drop stuff off in Vegas too. But they're they're either if they're on there, they're super cheap. Which Montana, Utah should be paying well, anyways, because it's in the FDA. So. Well, yeah, um, it, it absolutely it. should. It absolutely should. And I will say, I but, think when I've done well out of Salt Lake. I was headed east to like, you know, Nebraska, Iowa, or even further. I never make yeah. much money going west. No, me neither. I'd very rarely, I'd if ever, do that unless my driver just lives in that area. There was that one um, that was Nashville. What was that? I was seeing even like, four, oh, you, oh, dude. I was just going to say, and that's Auto Shipping Group, and I think that normally their rates are pretty decent, so that means they know it's a tough route. Yeah. Let's yeah. See. And, I, and this is what I suggest, too, it, to help you. Okay, so what I do sometimes, like if he said to all, what I would do to yeah. start off to see if there was anything I could make work, I will put in a minimum of two cars in this area. A good idea. To try to kind of narrow myself down a little bit, yeah, and I honestly, I would put in Idaho too and Montana because you're not that far from both, and if you're stuck, you might as well look at them. Um, that is a really a good idea. I, I, you know, when it comes to searching techniques, I always say like I do reverse flashlights, and then you could throw another mm -hmm. search on top of that of that two <laughs> minimum, so that you get that triangulation yeah. of what's good. Yeah. That's good stuff. I like that a lot. And by Let's the way, David's talking Pittsburgh to Atlanta. So that's our next, that's what we're going to search next. Okay. Hey, okay. if you're just joining us now, this is Dispatching Live. We're already halfway through this live show. Um, so thank you for tuning in. If you've got a route you want us to check, if you need some dispatching advice, if you're looking for a, a dispatcher or brokering advice, Sue at Murphy Auto Transport. She is a licensed broker. She also runs a dispatch company. And um, we're happy to have you here with us. Oh, well, buddy, I'm... Well, now, where is this? What can you haul? Maybe I should ask that. These guys are willing to split, but if you notice, these are nine... This one's a nine-foot flatbed. So that's a big sucker. I don't know where Golden City, Missouri is. Let's see. And I'm from Missouri, so I've never heard of that. Have you ever heard of Golden City, Missouri? Golden Jay? City? I'm, you know, I'm yeah. not sure. I have never I heard of that. I am not sure. Let's see. I don't know, man. That's Golden somewhere City. Somewhere near Kansas City. Where is it? Oh, it's down by me. Wow. <laughs> it's near me. Well, okay. Boy, it must be I'm huge down... then. That place is happening. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, they probably should pay a little bit more then. But I guess what you would load out of is probably Springfield next if you were going that direction. Um, I don't know what size of trailer he has. It says yeah, they'll split these um, mm -hmm. these trucks. So Is that uh, Barco? 
Yeah, yeah, Barco. The, yeah, Barco. Yeah, I think they're in Salt Lake City. I think their home base is Salt yeah, Lake City. Yeah. yeah, their 801 number. Yeah, they have constantly but have trucks. I mean, yeah. yeah, that's and they're always big. So if you've got something that can haul it, then you're good. I mean, I don't know what he has. If you had a big car hauler, you could use that to get out of there for sure, because that would fit on like a 910 easy. Um, hmm. what's this? This doesn't look too bad. Where's Rama, New Ooh, Mexico? Now there you go, Durango, Camaro. What's it? Oh, come on, the International. Oh yeah, that isn't gonna happen. That is not. How big is that? It's that's a not a car. That's a semi. I'm oh. pretty sure. Yeah, it's a semi, but how, well, they, I don't think I got it listed as a pickup or a SUV. <laughs> you know what? That's Let's a funny video. thing when people when something. they when they list vehicle type, they're like, whatever. They're you know right. What what is yeah. this whatever no. posting attitude? Oh no, it's a truck. Okay, that's not an. It, really? It's an old truck. Ah. Yeah, look at it. Ah. Oh, color me wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I don't want to misspeak, but, but I think I've hauled for Barco, and I think trucks are all they do. Yeah, that's and Barco rent a truck. Yeah, they do. That's all trucks. Yeah. All right. Well, here's the so, thing. Okay, so here's the learning experience on this 1962. You need to call the broker and, and get pictures. Because you can't just yeah. go off of what you think or what you found on Google. Or when you get the load, you verify it anyways, and you always ask them specifics. My biggest thing I think you'd be more worried about is if this thing really runs and drives. I know, right? Anything. 1962. Yeah. yeah. It was a great and, year, um, but... Uh, where's Rama a long at? Time Michael, ago. where's Rama at? <laughs> Rama, New Mexico. RCG's got we'll a lot of in ops. Rama is a bit is a two bit nowhere town southeastern New Mexico. Wow, is sign me up. <laughs> yeah, that's Michael. <laughs> uh, well, but, I mean, but you're full. So what's it look like when you get there? You would go to Albuquerque to load out. Albuquerque. That's where you would go. Yeah, there's no. Okay. Well, and I'll tell you I what, mean, and I've I've worked with drivers that loved going to nowhere two-bit towns because there were great paying loads. You know, you'd have to drive to them, but they were there. There's well, always okay, so it's 130 miles from Albuquerque. So, Rama. but it just depends. I, I mean, we don't know how, how big this guy's trailer is or what he can haul. So Dude, and this that gives you some ideas. Well, and you're doing 30 miles an hour on a curvy hot road, right? Right. So, true. <laughs> right. true. For forty cents a it's mile. Like down here. Yeah. Where was the other? What? What else were we looking for? Pittsburgh to Atlanta. Next please. one was yeah. Pittsburgh to Atlanta. Pittsburgh to Atlanta. Well, usually that is a hot spot. You can get killer loads going from Pittsburgh thinking. to Atlanta, but they have not been on there. I used to get yeah. paid six hundred dollars a car out of there to go to Atlanta. Dude, and totally. I guarantee you. That was John's run. Yeah. I we used to do that all day. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Actually, that they was that was at the not, height. I think in 2016 we yep. were doing great. Well, see, yeah. I was doing them last year for 600 bucks a piece. Sometimes 700 a piece, yeah, depending on where they were ago. at. Um, yeah, but um, I know over this last month or so there hasn't been hardly anything, and they're not paying very good. See, look, that's that's ridiculous. An F550. Oh my god. For 50 cents a month. What? Oh man, that's terrible. Yeah. Well, look. And they've wow. got a G3500 box fan. It's nine foot tall, so 23 wow. foot long. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Long. Look at that escape. Yeah. That's devastating. Yeah. That's yeah. your money leg. Yeah. Oh you might need gosh. to look more out of um, Ohio. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I would. Because wow. even, let's, hey, let's look. Let's go Pittsburgh to anywhere and see what it looks like. I know it's not very good because I've been looking at it. So, hold on. Oh man, that just all. makes me it's, feel bad because I know usually... five years ago that you could make money. Oh yeah, I, I was squeezing <laughs> high end brokers for five six hundred bucks on a on a sedan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because nobody likes to do Pittsburgh, and I don't blame them. But yeah, um, but just see, last week we I had a driver in Indy, Louisville, and Cleveland. And it was a nightmare to get get them out of there. And those are like some of my favorite spots to send people to. I agree. Because the loads are so good. Yeah. But they yeah, had stuff like from um, Cleveland to St. Louis. I usually get paid five hundred dollars a car. 
they're putting them on there for like two fifty. So yeah. Wow. David oh. loves Pittsburgh. Well, good man. That's good because really a lot of drivers don't like the, no. especially when you, the, the, you know, the logistics of actual Pittsburghiness. Yes. Yeah. If they're, if they're auctions, it's not as bad. But, like, when you got to go to one of those tight dealerships, John yeah. hates it. I mean, I he'll just tell me straight up I'm not doing well, it. Well, he, and when you I drive it, him. if you know, let's say you've never been there, and you're at that six-way stoplight where you can't even tell which way cars are supposed to go. Mm-hmm. Right? Well, it's he says, crazy. literally, you're so tight that you're scraping the sides of your truck and trailer sometimes when you're just going down a street. He says it's insane. Well, those were the good. days. Yeah. I mean, even, wow. I mean, this, this still should be paying way more. Yeah. So, yeah, Cranberry Township to, to Naples. Wow, yeah. that is cheap. What are those five, five pickups? pickups? I want to see it. F-150. And that's a, that's a Ford, de- is that a Ford dealership? Yep. Let's go. I bet it's looks like it's going to them. You know, by the time the loads hit the load boards, it is just, man, I don't know. When it, Florida. Is there, will yep. there ever be He's a day Naples. where load board rates don't look bad? Will there? Will it ever come back? I think it, I mean, personally, I, I have seen it lately this week where it's not so cheap. Like, we took a guy from Atlanta to, um, I said, I think Cincinnati. And he was getting seventy seven a mile, seventy seven each on each car, and that's that's usually not even a normal out of Atlanta. So I was kind of impressed with the rates and them not even arguing when I asked for a little bit more money. So here's the question: What was the broker? Was the broker a dealer? Were they a boutique broker? Were they a chop shop? Um, they were a chop shop. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, good for them <laughs> finally compensating a car hauler. I know, shocker. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> of course, they were at Copart and IA, so you know they knew. Oh. But some of them have realized that they can't let them sit and sit and sit because nobody's going to take them for this ain't, cheap well, price. That, ain't that so the thing? Either. Like to see the yeah. auction take all the money just for the car yeah. sitting there. Man, that's such a bummer. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, and IA charges. Forty dollars a day, which is just unreal. And then Copart has now started their new thing. It's five dollars for the first day, and then once you get up to what is it twenty five? For Barracuda, then it's twenty five dollars a day after. Well, now uh, I thought it was forty bucks a day for storage. For IAA, it is, oh, but okay. Copart is different. Okay, it starts out at five bucks for your first. It goes five dollars, ten dollars, fifteen. And I think it gets to either 20 or 25 and then it's 25 a day after that if you don't get it out of there. And now they used to let you keep them there for five days. Now it's three days without being charged a fee. And then if then they start the charging of the fees on top of that. Interesting. Well, that's good information. I don't see anything that's even But can really... you believe that? Ain't that a racket? Come on down and buy from us. And then once you buy it and it sits here at 40 bucks a day, sweet. Yeah. Yeah, that's where they make all their money. I'm yeah. telling you, man. Look at these enclosed trailers. What if the grocery store starts charging right. grocery storage? Like you buy online <laughs> yeah. and your bag your bag of groceries is a buck an hour? Look at <laughs> right? That. Look at Dude, that. Why is Heidi's somebody paying that? Freightliner, a step van? Is that like a bread van? Google that. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a that or even a uh i mean i like that they got the specs in there that's cool that's yeah, that a lot of companies don't or do a, that or it's a food truck or something like food, that that's what i'm thinking food truck that's usually what a step van is i think yep yep that's a uh, yeah it's <laughs> i always like, say bread van <laughs> oh man well they the yeah, bread a, guys drive them too food truck. you see the wonder guy drive oh like a snap on cities. tools <laughs> truck you yeah, don't want to haul that. Tools, What's UPS truck. I mean, if you, you need a flatbed. Yes. Yeah. I mean, 
my I've got a guy that has a flatbed. He could fit that, but he wouldn't do it for that. Not when it weighs ninety five hundred pounds. Right. And I bet I doubt seriously that ninety five hundred pounds is right. I bet oh, more. Oh yeah, 12, no, you're right. Range. What's in it? Right. Ninety five might be the empty frame. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, the problem. I, I booked some ambulances one time, and it was a crusher. Hey, I want that load right um, there. I booked some battery-powered buses one time. Oh, that was a nightmare. Yeah. yeah. Let's get this one. It's paying $6,500. Look at my Facebook <laughs> cover page photo. Hey, Michael, share your Facebook page with us. What was that? What would you say? Oh. Look at this one. It's oh. it's not. <laughs> 6500 Someone text oh. him and ask him if it pays sixty five hundred. <laughs> by the way, by the way, let's talk about what a slash means, right? Yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah, what is I a slash? I think this is supposed mean? to say six fifty slash six hundred, okay. and that can mean two different things. Right. It could mean that they're collecting fifty dollar broker fee at delivery, or it could mean that you're going to only collect six hundred at delivery, and they're going to pay you fifty dollars via check from the broker. Um, so there's two options with that now. So you always have to ask the broker what's with the slash. Yep. Get that, get that you, clarified before you do anything. Yeah, because some people think that means they're getting paid 650 and usually that is not the case. No, you're, you're getting 600, they're charging yep. 650 and mm -hmm. yeah, and then, yeah. It's it's never it's never great, but brokers you know, have to give payment terms with different customers to get the load. So just right. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, hey, there you go. There's yes. your Pittsburgh Andy. That's contract. another. You know, Assertus, right? Assertus has gotten involved yep. with Auto Transport Intel. That was another decent paying Assertus load. I like seeing yes. that. Thank you, Assertus. And this guy said you need to go to Georgia, but let's look um, because you got to go to Atlanta. You're going to go through Kentucky. And you're going to go through Tennessee too. Let's see. Sometimes I have literally gotten paid more to go through Tennessee than I have gone all the way to Atlanta. Here we go. Let's see here. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. We got, uh, well. I mean, that's not bad <laughs> right there if you had the room for it. In Lexington, you go right through Lexington to go to Atlanta. And then you could pick up another car out of Lexington going to Atlanta as well. Um, and they usually pay like 250 So, you know, you're paying getting paid six on the total run. You just have to keep aware of what you're doing when you're doing this. You don't want to get stuck overnight in a little town when you could have been in Atlanta the next day. So just keep that oh, in mind. Isn't that doing. the truth? Which is another, and yeah. that's why, that's why, I mean, I talk about ELD like it sucks because all mm -hmm. it does is cut into the driver's ability to actually finish the day without getting stuck somewhere. I don't, I really right. don't understand how I'm wrong about that. But anyways, let me know how I'm wrong about that. Send me your ELD punch. Well, I mean, and it's just the same concept, like, Jay, I know you've had the same problem when you were dispatcher. Say you only get three vehicles. I was talking to Michael about this today. Say say you're a four car and you only get, were able to get three vehicles. And they're only paying $300 a piece. Do not spend the night over $300. Hey. Because if you, the next day where you're going to be at in, say, Kansas City, and you have a load for $1,200, you just lost $1,200 over a $300 car. So exactly. just keep that in mind. I know it kills you sometimes to go with one less, but do it because you've lost a whole day instead of just losing $300. You got to look and, at it that way. And here's the thing. You lost a car because you have an ELD. Thanks, ELD. Well, well, well that or you just couldn't find one is what I'm saying. Like, say I was, I've done this before. Yeah, but I've I had John them. in you Dallas, I mean. Texas. We had three vehicles. And we were short one car and usually Dallas vehicles to Kansas city pay like two fifty, three hundred bucks. And we were short one. And I said, I've already got you loaded out of Kansas city for $1,200. I don't want you to stay for $250. Yeah. There's just no point. And he's like, I get it. We're moving. Let's go. 
you know, and, or you can look along their route. Like sometimes you can pick up stuff out of Tulsa and Oklahoma going to Kansas city that pays just as much out of Dallas. So you got to keep things along your route to keep in mind of what's going on. That's right. That's right. That's If anybody else anybody has a route they want us to look at, we are we're gonna we're gonna go another fifteen minutes here on Dispatching Live. I'm Jay, your host from Auto Transport Intel. Sue at Murphy Auto Transport is my co-host here. She's the one searching the load boards. Ooh, you know what? That's one thing I always liked about Cars Arrive is like you see a few in a row with a you know yeah. with a decent sense per mile. What's probably one of my favorite things about Cars Arrive. Yeah, see, like if I was going like for Youngstown over to Indianapolis, these usually pay. I've gotten three fifty a car going there before. Mm -hmm. um, it's not happening right now. Also, mm -hmm. everybody keep in mind, cars arrive only list cars certain times of the day, and one mm -hmm. of them is around five o'clock in the evening. Okay. So, <laughs> boy, these I'll tell you and what. You can like, check the load board ahead of time. Dude, you were talking about the storage rates, and now you're talking about the times that loads get dumped. Boy, this information would be great, like online, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, um, it would. And I've by been the way, on a list of brokers and stuff like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, there's so many things. And and by the way, on the cars arrive, and here's another pro tip. If you don't already know this, I'm sure most of you do, but there'll be that one guy that's like, "Oh my god, I'm so glad he said that." You see the car here on Central. You need to go to the cars arrive load board immediately and see if it's still there. Yep, look, because I'm going to show you guys how to do it right now. Because it could be sitting on central posting, but it's not on Cars Drive anymore, and now none of this matters. Uh, yep. Hey, Ivan, thanks for tuning in. Sunset Trans, thank you very much. We appreciate you. Okay, so, yes, it is here. If This this load is here. Nice. And then all you would do is you view it, and then you accept it. And then right. you put in, when you get, I'm not going to going to accept it because I don't want <laughs> to do that. But right. at, the next screen is you list your driver's name, phone number, fax number, the dates of pickup and delivery, and how you want to get paid. They pay different ways. And um, then you accept it. And then after you've got the load, you just go down and print it. Or you can import it if you have super dispatch directly to your board. Um, and then you don't have to fool with it. And then and as far as them paying you, everybody knows if you work for Cars Arrive, you're either getting an ACH or um, direct deposit into your account three days or 21 days or a check or you can get com checks and com checks cost you 10 bucks ACHs cost you three percent let's see and, and, and com checks are worth it right <laughs> com checks are great <sighs> no i don't know so much anymore really has, has that I, changed i keep yes because huh. well the reason being is this the banks are I always did them where we took them to the bank so they don't charge a fee, right? Right, right. If you don't go to a right bank, then they don't know what they're doing because they've got to call it in and get the code and then put it in your bank. And if you go, if you're a new guy and you don't know any of this stuff, your bank will just put it in like it's a check and then they reject it and NSF it even though it was fine, but it's because they didn't call in and get the code. Ooh, now, also, like if you're a driver on the road and you want to cash that com check out at a gas station, they are charging such high fees for really? it like forty dollars not yes. cool no so, come on yeah I, no bucks. i think you're personally better off right. doing their three percent ach directly into your account okay. they do pay that fast it's kind of like rat if you're set up with rat you're paid the same day you drop the car either com check actually rat just got rid of com checks they're really? doing everything ach now they wow. just started like two weeks ago yep Wow. Um, and they're making everybody sign up with their ACH information. But yes, they pay rat like if you use their app, which I recommend, and as soon as you drop, you will usually be paid within two hours. So keep that yeah. in mind too when you're hauling for ready auto. That is awesome and it's true. I've had so many drivers confirm that. That is awesome. Hey, by the way, Elton Fanning says, is ten percent to dispatch good? I think it's I think your average is anywhere between seven and 10 um, is what I have found out there in the industry right now. And, and I mean, I don't charge 10, but I don't think 10 is unreasonable in all honesty, only just because if you're a good dispatcher, you're going to make that driver at least 20 to 30% more than what he would have normally got because he's sitting there waiting on the side of the road, trying to find a load. And 
a lot of times they can lose a whole day's worth of work just trying to find loads where you are their office. You're taking care of it. You're verifying it. And, you know, telling them, I always tell them where to pick up, you know, like pick up order, delivery order. So they're not trying to do all this themselves. I'm trying to save them on their ELD time. And to me, we're worth the money. So, I mean, I don't think 10% is unreasonable. It's just not what I charge. So I totally agree with you. Yep. 10% is reasonable. And that, I mean, again, that does sound high. And when you're watching Broker versus Dispatcher, make sure you check out Broker versus Dispatcher on Auto Transport Intel. But when you're watching that, uh, you know, think about if, if it's true that a dispatcher can only have one client, otherwise they're illegal and, you know, uh, under the gun right. from the feds, then yeah, 10% is reasonable because it's pretty hard to live on 10% of one carrier anyways. Well, true. Cause if you figure the average care, say you have a three car, he usually is going to make anywhere between four to $5,000 a week. So 10% of that is not that much to live on in this day and age. No, you can't. And, and on top of it, you have bills, you know, that involve this. Because as a dispatcher, like, yes, they pay their own central dispatch account, but you still have to pay for your phone. You still have to pay for your internet. You still have to pay for, if you have a fax machine or fax line, stuff like that. So Power, really in food, the long run, $500. Cold coffee. Yeah. 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 <laughs> cold coffee and hot <laughs> beer. Yes. <laughs> oh. Or for for Jen, it would be hot wine. <laughs> yeah, I'll drink hot we'll wine. Make... <laughs> I'm with you, Jen. Let's drink some hot wine. <laughs> oh man, this is great. This is great. Hey, thank you guys all for tuning in. We got about ten more minutes left. If anybody has a request, uh, the price UG says the prices are still at roughly fifty cents a mile. Still low. Insurance renewal with Progressive is about twenty percent. 20 to 30 percent higher for no reason there you go and that's a that's a great point i've heard that um, i have heard that and i have also heard they're not giving out loans for new truck drivers um for buying equipment and yeah. stuff like that i've had several emails from different drivers saying that yeah this is a these are uh these are interesting times i mean yeah to have to avoid big cities because there are covid hot spots uh, mm -hmm. all, everything is costing more. The rates don't reflect it. I mean, this is a crazy time. What you just yeah, showed me, is. Pittsburgh to Atlanta, it bummed uh -huh. me out, man. Yeah, I'm, me I'm too, because that I mean, was a hot spot for me. Wow, that yeah. was a great route. Yeah. Well, and you can usually do the same thing, like if you were going from Louisville to Atlanta, three fifty four hundred dollars a car. Indianapolis, three fifty four hundred dollars a car. Yes. Um, but you, yes. like even Cleveland, I like I said, Cleveland's one of my hot spots. I love going there. I like Detroit too. Usually, too. Cleveland, Detroit, going to St. Louis is five hundred. If you're going to Kansas City, it's six or seven, and those are non-existent right now. Wow. I mean, they're just not there. Let's go look. I'll even wow. show you because it's crazy. I drank, Michael. Yeah. I drank so much Mountain Dew. I drank so much Mountain Dew in college that I rarely drink it anymore. I drank more Mountain Dew in college than the rest of my lifetime. Hey, what's up, Seaport Service? Candy at Jack Sport Store. Hey, Candy. Thank you so much, Candy. She popped in a super chat of 10 bucks. Really appreciate that. Um, everything I get goes back into the show. YouTube keeps 30% of that, but I think that's fair. I mean, this is an incredible platform. Um, how often do people thank YouTube? And I'll tell you what, while I'm thanking YouTube, I want to say this, they've updated the, some of the, some of their features and actually they're not a hundred percent. So I'm, I think my stream broke the other night. I think it was a YouTube thing. So thank you, YouTube. Nice. Keep on working on it. And thank you, Candy at Jack Sports Storage. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Sunset Trends says, just looked up the rat app for factoring, but didn't see it. Rat app for factoring. Do they do factoring at Rat? Uh, you mean as a company? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Just looked up the Rat app for factoring, but didn't see it. Yeah, we don't know what that is. I mean, we know what factoring is, and we know what Rat app is, but I don't think they do anything together. I don't think... In fact, most brokers, they don't actually prefer if you have a factoring company. 
because they don't want all those phone calls. Yeah, yeah, they don't like it. I've drank. I don't 200... like it as a broker. Yeah, I, w- I wouldn't <laughs> like it either. James Lamb broke your YouTube. It's <laughs> <That's> hilarious. <laughs> yeah, look at these rates. This is not. This is not good rates here. I, you know, Sue, I really appreciate you doing all the searching because it is. Um, it, I'll tell you, when I first was considering a dispatch show years ago, um, I wasn't sure how I would exactly do it. And having you doing the searching while I do all the commentating, like, you know, like yeah. I'm courtside, this is just great. So <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. Really appreciate it. No problem. See, okay, so I just put in, um, and I didn't, I just put in Michigan and Ohio going to Missouri and Kansas. So that would give us Kansas City, St. Louis, right? And there's only 24 loads, and they're not good. I mean, for, and I don't know if anybody knows what a rafter is, but they're big and they're wide. You got to have the right trailer. Yeah. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, 79 cents a mile. Where is Gaylord at? Anyways? Well, and I tell you, I, right, where is Gaylord? And I don't, I, I'm, I'm guessing it's Northish. And I actually don't like stopping in St. Louis. Um, I haven't found it to be the easiest right. place to turn around and come back. But. Oh. Yeah, I've got a guy that is out of Rolla, and we load him out of St. Louis every week. And, well, you know, and usually bring him back either to Springfield or St. Louis. Well, and then what's interesting about that comment that we're talking about it is that any route over time, you get used to knowing all the zips, and you know that by the yeah. zip, it's a co-part, and so it just takes time. Yeah, <laughs> nobody needs to go up here. Where is it? not even paying close enough money. The, the map is still Gaylor going. Gaylord up by Traverse. Uh, Traverse, uh, yeah, Traverse. Who's the best yeah. factoring company yeah. for car haulers? That's a great question. Oh my gosh, I've never had a driver go there. I my, most of my drivers use TBS. I know there's another one called JD something. Michael, what is it called? He's got one. He knows. Best factoring company for car haulers. I'm gonna say this. Please Google on YouTube. Uh-huh. Please YouTube. Go to YouTube and do like Auto Transport Intel Car Hauler Car Hauler Factoring. You could just try typing Car Hauler Factoring on YouTube, and I believe I interviewed and did a video. I think that was with Michael. Anyways, check that out. Car Hauler Factoring video on YouTube, and I believe that the, you'll find the answer. I just don't know it off the top of my head. Um, and here's the thing. I'm guessing that Raptor and Gaylord... Oh, it's dealer to dealer. Okay, that's better. Because yeah. what happens a yeah. lot of times is you get a customer in the middle of nowhere. And they and they, and they they blow they go to the internet. They do the car shipping calculator. They blow up all the brokers. And in an effort to get the business, somebody gives them a rate, which is totally not reasonable. And they didn't check right. their map either. And now this guy right. sitting in the middle of nowhere, when the car hauler shows up and the guy asks for more money... The, the resident wants to punch him. And now you've got, you know, now you've got a reality show. All because nobody told the guy, listen, this isn't cheap car shipping. Right. And well, that, and keep that, in mind, I'm wondering if this isn't the same truck and it's really in Gaylord. Oh, it totally is the same. Yeah, it is the same truck. Okay. I mean, well, it I'm, could be. I'm I mean, they, they do have different reference ID numbers, but could, it's, you know what? it's odd for two of them to be in that same area. You well, know what I mean? What it is, is there's a dealer in Hazelwood, and he's going to yeah. make a trade with those two Michigan dealers. And, yeah, because, be. he's a, yeah. and because he's a dealer, he you know, he thinks he's setting the price. Well, listen, man, yeah. that, that Raptor in Gaylord needs to go up like 300 bucks. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Well, that or these people are keeping more money than what we know, too, for the broker fee. So there's always that involved too. Well, that's a, and that's um, and what I just said is the truth, but nobody wants to hear it. That's why I have a YouTube channel yeah. because you know nobody wants to. <laughs> oh <laughs> man, it's like coughing up a hairball. Hey, by the way, David Freed says, "How about Pittsburgh to Texas? We'll do like one one um, more search." There's a guy in Atlanta yeah, like that does Pittsburgh yeah to Pittsburgh to Texas, which actually that should be decent, right? Well, it should be, but it's not going to be. Um, oh, hold on. <laughs> man. Yeah. Because nothing out of Pittsburgh has been good for the last little bit. So. I believe it. I believe it. Yeah. 
And we are winding down, ladies and gentlemen. So if you're hanging in there with us, we'll be there. We'll be we'll be here for a few more minutes. We're on our last search. Again, you're joining Jay at Auto Transport Intel and Sue at Murphy Auto Transport on Dispatching Live. Mm. We're live on Thursdays at noon every Not other good. week. Not good. Not good. Don't go to Texas. <laughs> oh <laughs> man. Oh my gosh. What? Hey, you can just you can take an office trailer down to Beaumont. <laughs> what did you search? Show I just put in Pittsburgh to Texas. That was it. That was, you put it, okay. That was it. Pitts, Pittsburgh, what, 50, 100, 100? 100. 100 miles around 100. Pittsburgh to the state and, of Texas? Yeah. That's what you got? Yeah. Did you have that's a minimum? Did, did, that's did what you, I got. Did you have yeah. any minimums? I put $200. I would hope there's that's, nothing on there. Less yeah, than that. no, that's, that's nothing. <laughs> Two hundred bucks. Yeah. Well, I mean, shoot. look, this is enclosed. It's only paying sixty-eight cents a mile. I mean, yeah, that's and not JS good. Transport, great company. There's nothing wrong with that load. Yep. I mean, they need an enclosed nope. trailer. Although I don't know. I well, here's the thing, and here's I'm so glad we're looking at this. I respect her as a broker, and I think that I think that rate's yeah. a little low. But that's because, I mean, she's seeing all the other market factors like everybody else. But here's the problem. Yep. I, I don't yep. think, if I was an enclosed trailer, I wouldn't take that. I don't think that pays enough. But, I mean. I don't think you could afford to take it, unfortunately. It's thing, and that's the problem. An enclosed trailer needs to make more money per mile. But, um, and here's the thing, too. Here's another thing. You know yep. what the driver's thinking all the way to Beaumont? Okay. If it's going to a private residence, if they own that car, they mm -hmm. can afford more than that, mm -hmm. right? If you can, yeah. if you have yeah. the money to own a yeah. 2019 Audi A8, you can afford to pay the driver more than that. That's what the driver's thinking. I'm yeah. just saying. I'm yeah. just saying. Well, right. and it could oh. we it could be such a thing if this is a dealer it. paying yes. for it. It has nothing to do with the owner of the car either. Because yes. a lot of times they include this price in what they sold the car to them for. Well, and, and I, just, I, you don't ever know either. You know what? Great counterpoint. Um, That's exactly you're right. But again, everybody's thinking cheap car shipping. I Googled it. I saw it. Cheap car shipping. It must exist. Yeah. Well, listen, man, you're putting drivers out of business with cheap car shipping. Knock it off. Yeah. But hey, man, I'm not a driver. Because, I, mean, I like Lone Star, too. I've worked with them a lot. Yeah, they're good, too. That's really low for as big as that is. I mean, and that's a huge thing. Listen, all three brokers on this page, I, I know I know people at these companies. Yep. I respect these companies. Yep. But we have a serious yep. market problem right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, and this probably isn't a, a bad deal right here. But it's an office trailer. <laughs> But you're, so you're going with that hooked onto your trailer and you're got to come back out unhooked. You know what I mean? So really $7,500 is pretty good money. But, what does that look like, like said, office trailer? 12 it's foot only wide. 12 wide, 12.6 12 high. What is I it? Mean, like, so a just it like a construction Like a construction site? Yeah, probably, site probably something deal? like that. I don't know if it'll show me anything if I put it up. Let's look. I mean, you have to have a flatbed or a low boy, right? Yeah, well, I don't think you would do it that way. I think if they want it pulled behind, I bet it has a trailer. Oh, um, like, okay. Most of these construction trailers gotcha. are you just attach them. Right. And that's what I would assume is going on. Yeah. Right. So you would, what What would this be? A power only load, right? Where you take your, I, can you hook it to a fifth I wheel? Honestly, uh, see that, that? I don't know. You have a point. It might not hook to a fifth wheel. Usually Probably they're not. just, well, it's, it's on a, and it doesn't look like it's a big trailer, so I would assume probably not. It's probably like pulling the, um, an RV <laughs> instead, a travel trailer, essentially, because it's only, well, they're not giving you the length. They're only giving you how wide it is. <laughs> it's only tw it's twelve wide and twelve point six high. So, I mean, it could be thirty foot long for all we know right now. So, oh, you know, and hey, listen, we don't this know is what a, you know what? Barracuda just summed it up. Barracuda says, too bad dispatching is illegal. Small carriers need dispatch services. It's crazy to restrict the talent pool only to broker services. 
Thank you, Barracuda. I agree. Amen. Because you know what? It's nuts. We're not here. None of yes. this is a scam. I mean, I do not understand why dispatchers are illegal. And it really makes you wonder what is behind that? Why is this? I mean, I, don't, I sudden, really don't, I don't get it. Yeah. All of a sudden it's a big, huge issue. And it's like, I granted I'm legal and all that good stuff, but I know that most dispatchers are just out there to make a living. And they're not out to screw anybody over. This is what they do. They sit at home and do what I do every single day. And you're on a computer sometimes for 12, 15 hours and you're talking to your drivers and this is a real job and it's, it's hard work mentally. It may not be a physical thing, but it is definitely a mental thing. I mean, there's sometimes in the day, if I drank, I would really get drunk every night, (laughs) but I do not drink. And (laughs) so, I mean, to pursue these poor dispatchers, it I I don't get it. I mean, I could be the person that says, "Hey, get rid of all of them." It just makes my co- company have more people. But I don't feel like that. And, I think and we're here, all in this together. Well, we, uh, that's the funny thing. Okay, I'm glad you said that because that's why I say, "Are we really all in this together?" I don't understand the yeah. dispatcher hate. I understand. I don't being, either. I understand getting angry with illegal brokering. And I yeah. understand getting angry with carriers that engage in illegal brokering. I understand yeah. getting angry with dispatchers that engage in illegal brokering. But it's right. illegal brokering that got us to the stage where we're ready to sue somebody. Not because you're right. a dispatcher or a carrier or a janitor or whatever you are. I right. don't understand it. It's a war against dispatching and i don't know how else to parse it i don't either and i know there's a lot worse things out there in the transport industry that they could pursue other than that (laughs) that's correct and by the way the same folks that say they want less government regulation and interactivity in our businesses well that's what you're doing you're bringing Mm -hmm. the government into the carrier business against dispatchers you just said you believe in capitalism freedom of enterprise competition but you're bringing the government in Mm -hmm. because you don't like this group called dispatchers that's crazy talk right right I agree. But I want to I say this. It. As I really appreciate James Lamb coming on the show and talking, because if this knowledge doesn't get out, who wants to get a letter from the government? You know, to say, you have, not only do you have coronavirus, but now you're shut down because you're illegal. Right. Really? If, okay, if that, yeah, I got gotcha. Anyways, I get upset about it. It's called bullying. Yeah. Thank you, Candy. It is bullying. Yes. It is. For no apparent reason. <sighs> but again, I, I and I, I say this over and over because I, I, I try to remain a business professional in journalism and auto transport. I welcome anybody with an opposing view. And even if the law is on your side and not mine, come on the show. Let's talk car shipping. And... Um, Send me an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. Sue, thank you so much for joining us today for another Dispatching Live. Thank you. This hour went yeah. so fast and with so much information. Yes, it was fun. It was fun. And by the way, listen, if you don't already know, and I think I think over half the people uh, that are still with us right now, let's go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put your link in here, Murphy Auto. Okay. What is it, Murphy Auto Transport? What's your link? Services.com. Murphy Auto Auto Transport Services.com. Services.com. So here's the link in the live chat. Murphy Auto Transport Services.com. And um, all right, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you get back to it. And I know you work hard. (laughs) You work very hard. So, um, and hey, hats off, Jennifer, and the hot wine. Go for it. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. All right. Take care, Sue. I'll talk to you soon, okay? Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you, everybody. All right. Take care. Bye. Okay. And I'm bye. Uh, bye. And one of them, okay. So I, what I did there is I just uh, basically finished the meeting and I let Sue go. 
We're still inside of the interface here. I just want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Auto Transport Intel. Thank you for your interaction and requesting routes and asking questions. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. And um, let's see what we got going on. Oh, we do not have uh, we do not have state of car hauling tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is May eighth, and I already told somebody else I'd help them out tomorrow. So I. My day is blocked out, but I will be back Monday with State of Car Hauling. Me and Ty will be back Monday, I think that's the 11th, with State of Car Hauling. And Tuesday night, this is going to be a great show, Craig and Vehicle. It's a mobile driver app. You're going to want to learn more about it, watch the demo. You're going to be thinking, man, I've heard everything I need to know about mobile apps. Well, there are new features coming, and there are other things that you can do with it. So you're going to want to learn more about it, so stick around and tune in for that. Thank you guys so much for your participation, interaction, and attention. I really do appreciate it. I'm Jay at Auto Transport Intel. You guys stay safe, and I'll see you Monday. Have a great weekend.